I believe that it is time again to show you the Liberty Christmas store and plus all the awesome things inside we're going to see if they have the advent calendar still in stock I don't need it but I've just come down to yes the iconic Liberty which some people say is the best place to go for Christmas shopping when you're in London and it's a Saturday morning it's half 10 I was gonna get here for 10 but you know me I didn't get here on time but I did actually just cycle here and down Oxford Street and it was way busier than I thought it would be so by the time you're watching this um yeah it's gonna be carnage but look at that building that is absolutely stunning oh they're gonna get run over splat 10 points but yes what a gorgeous gorgeous building also i'm not totally sure about my hair like i cycled here so the hair situation i'm not going to talk about i look really tired as well today i don't know what's happened maybe i went to bed too late but anyway enough of my ramblings um let's have a look and already we can see that their iconic beauty advent calendar is still in stock at time of filming this anyway. Um, I had that one two years ago. Check out my 20, what would that have been? 2020 vlogmas. But I'm going to show you the Christmas store today. But this entrance is stunning. I know it's not Christmas, but I'm loving the beautiful autumnal, almost winter uh, looking flowers outside. They're absolutely gorgeous. So Wild at Heart is the brand out here. Oh, you know I'm a sucker for like cream roses. Look at these colours. These are stunning. I absolutely adore them they have got some beautiful beautiful uh, florist moments in here look at this and look at the wreaths as well so we are here for Christmas so let's go on up to which floor is it uh, is it the third floor or fourth floor? Christmas shop on four, there we go. If you are new to my channel, I like to do kind of retail, look at different shops in London, show you all the sights, sounds and things that maybe you would like to do one day if you come here. Or maybe you live here and you just want to see it and you can't bother to leave your house. Um, but yes, uh, do subscribe, I would really appreciate it. We've got loads and loads of Christmas vlogs coming. I can't believe it is time with Justin Bieber playing in the background. Let's have a look at the Christmas shop 2022 up on the full floor it looks like you can get some personalized Christmas decorations here as well oh I'll keep an eye out and see if they've got any examples and I'm glad to see that they have got the iconic I guess there's a reindeer right still here and maybe no one bought it it's 1795 pounds and we've got some iconic London looking um, yeah a little hanging um, decorations here a little phone box I think these are all about 13 quid yeah um, which is really cute and then we've got a little post box and we have this huge table with a significant amount of toy soldiers so if you want them more traditional if you want them kind of more cartoony <laughs> with some sparkles on um, yes and this brand um, is it Gisalia Graham I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right um, that is a brand that you will see in a lot of places um, and then everyone just prices things accordingly so 35 pounds gives us like a little tree topper right and there's a lot of royal stuff in here so if you are into that definitely come in here so that's 30 pounds lots of different crowns i do like the dark purple that's very very royal and also very liberty and i say that but then have got this one as well how sweet that's really nice so i think some of this stuff will be online and they're really good at um like zoning everything by color which i think works really really well um i also would have probably put up john lewis by now and there's this very strong theme so here they do it by color and i have to call out this one oh my gosh that's stunning uh that's seven pounds i don't know is that cheap is that okay you do start to kind of like lose <laughs> value of money a little bit sometimes in these places you're like oh it's 27 pounds for one bauble but i love this little white snowy moment and then they have a lot of pink as well where the speakers are blaring out and every year they also have this kind of under the sea theme which i guess is still on trend so you can get a little merman uh there for 35 pounds I don't know, that's quite a lot, but I guess it probably was really difficult to make, right? Little tail, um, I do, I've seen a few like this where they're completely clear, I like this little penguin for £6. Yeah, they've got literally every single colour and aesthetic. Um, I really, really love this moon as well. Um, we probably will see some of these in other stores as well. Like I said, this brand is featured in quite a few different retailers these days. Yeah, and then they will have an example of the tree made up, which I think is okay. Um, I do think John Lewis do a particularly good job at decorating the tree, um, but I do like that they've added 
some other fake foliage in the tree as well. And I love this red theme as well. Look at these, these are stunning. Um, a lot of different gold things. And these are very Fabergé eggish, aren't they? Look at that. Oh, look at this antique garland. Oh my gosh, it's heavy and it's glass, gosh. Uh, it's 67 pounds, so maybe don't touch it, Hannah. But I do really like this green and the fact that it's got like a little bit of something around the rope. Can you see that? So if you're coming, it's a really good idea to just, just get like a little something. Um, I mean, that looks a bit like a light bulb, I'm not sure about that. Um, but yes, they have got a lot of different things, I must confess. It looks quite quiet here, but I'm waiting for the tidal waves. It's very, very, very busy in here. And um, what are we on to now? A little colourful moment. There's always some kind of, yeah. Oh, parrots. I think last year they were peacocks, um, if I remember rightly. But we always have some crazy animal decorations in here. They have such a cool idea. Oh, look at these little rainbow ones. They're fun. So if you're into animals and really strong colour themes, yeah, maybe you need a lion or tiger um, in your life. Yeah, they've got cheetahs. Are these cheetahs? Um, these are really cool and this brand is featured quite heavily as well. So that one is uh, £16. Look at these crocodiles. Are they crocodiles or the alligators? I think they're crocodiles. They're quite cool, aren't they, for £6. So yeah, it does vary a bit on price. I'd say the cheapest you're going to get is around the £6 mark. Uh, and I keep my eyes peeled for the felted um, decorations. I personally love those. That one's £9. And I do like, look at these little feet, little sparkles on the feet there. Honestly, this is like an animal Christmas lover's paradise. So if you're looking for a sparkly giraffe or maybe a lion, um, oh no, that's not a lion, is it? It's an elephant. My goodness. Um, or a little, look at that. I mean, you're not going to find that down your local store. That's pretty cool. Why do stores have music that's so loud? Honestly, I'm getting old. Um, but yes, if you want to get like a little gift or maybe just one little special decoration, this isn't an ad by the way, um, I think it's a really, really good place. Maybe like collect them over the years. Oh, and I've just spotted this year's bauble. 2022 Liberty Bauble and that one is uh, 10 pounds and I'll show you the ones in Harrods as well. I'm not sure if Selfridges do their own ones. Maybe I've already filmed that, who knows? But we have got a huge section for wreaths. A beautiful, beautiful autumnal one. It feels pretty nice. I've not seen one like that before actually, um, unless you like make one yourself. Um, but the peacocks, I personally still love the peacock trend. I think it's absolutely stunning. I love, I love anything that's like a deep, deep blue. Just a personal fave. And then the kind of nostalgic felt looking things as well as the little felt advert. We will go downstairs into like the chocolate food section and see if we've got any little bits and bobs. Um, but I love a snow globe. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Look at all of these wreaths. I remember this. I've seen this one a few times. That one is... Um is that 65 pounds okay we're not going to touch that one um but i love the little felt ones i think they're so cute i do already have a really big wreath which i think is pretty quite similar to that with these little snowdrops that i've got from john lewis so i'm not going to replace that and just through the light look at the head of that <laughs> little bear i guess this is probably very traditional i kind of wish i'd bought my decorations to be this color theme like look at the heart with a little tartan going down the middle what brand is this um because people always like festive glass decoration um so yeah a lot of the things here are from other companies but obviously they buy them i guess wholesale um but they pick such an incredible selection maybe for the farmer in your life do you see what i mean they have really quirky ones i'll keep an eye out they always have really weird food ones as well i think they might be around the other side love all the traditional ones little snow moment on does it come off oh no i'm impressed although my hands are covered in glitter um, from looking at things but yeah i really really like these definitely maybe should have gone with the red and green that's stunning right in breaking the music i can quickly show you this corner which i adore and i remember this last year they always have these really cute sorry the lighting's not great um little animals how adorable are these i have a little hedgehog actually uh that goes under my tree but i like that this one has also oh my gosh the whole thing is fluffy i thought he was going to be crunchy oh my gosh i'm such a sucker for little like woodland animals they're so cute right where are the where are the felt animals they're the ones that i really love um this reminds me of um what's that program brambly hedge does anyone remember that that was like a thing when i was a kid or like sylvanian ish yes this is the section because i am a five-year-old but they have got <laughs> 
everything felt from like a mince pie or I'm not tall enough what is that a little guinea pig or something but they have every animal so yeah if you're into animal well, they've got um um what the hell are they called sprouts that's the one um they have got so many cute little animals look at these little doggies Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh, even the swan. My gosh, they've got way more than last year. Maybe I just came late last year. I don't remember there being that many, but yeah, they're about, what, they're about eight to 15 pounds. Look at this little cat and this little doggy with little reindeer uh, antlers on. And yeah, there are. there's quite a lot of this um, kind of like, yeah, holly sprig, sprink, whatever you call it. It's really and sweet. It couldn't be this without some kind of little mouse. They've got quite a lot of them actually. Um, they are adorable. Oh my gosh, hold on, this is the best one. <gasps> Look at him. Okay. He's knitting a scarf. And then in this corner, I really, really like that they have got this very kind of, I don't know what you would call this. It's a little bit antique -y, um, but with a beautiful hand baited on the front. I mean, I'm guessing these are really expensive. Um, oh, 10 pounds. I mean, I thought it'd be more than that. But this is just a really, really nice style. This glass blown with a little uh, robin in the background. And it's meant to look, I guess, uh, worn, like an actual window. I think that's really cute. If anyone knows what that kind of style is, let me know. And this little cluster, I always like a little trio cluster. I've got um, like a pinky version of that, I guess, from John Lewis. It's just nice, it adds quite a lot of, um, yeah, depth to your tree. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, it's very kind of traditional looking. Do you know what I mean? That's really sweet. We've got a lot of glass moments as well, so I'm trying to be careful. And as we go along to the left, might not be for everyone, but your angel toppers, I'm not really, I prefer stars at the top of my tree, if I'm honest with you. Um, but yeah, you can get them in a little box. They're quite cute. Uh, how much is that? That little one is 25 pounds. appreciate all the time they take to do these trees i really really like this one i think the color yeah the little kind of mushroom um element i really i've seen that on quite a few things hopefully i've been able to capture it and there we go an example of the little angel on the top um but i can see some more peacock action but actually one second let's not miss this these are the actual liberty store ones so we've obviously seen the one for 2022 and then we've got some other nice ones for 10 pounds I really like that. I feel like the, the green and blue, um, green and red is definitely coming back. And then it's noted here, this is a lovely little grift. Um, English bone china there. How lovely is that uh, for 20 quid? And you have also got, I think they do this every year, a 20 pound one that's got the um, London skyline. Uh, again, oh, this is 25. Is that 25? No, it's not 25 karat gold. I think maybe that's just the stock code. We've got a first Christmas together one. Sorry, the plastic, you probably can't see that too clearly. Yeah, so really, really lovely selection. But yes, I love the purple theme, the kind of peacock, and I can see, look at that stunning peacock. Oh, the sun is out. I love it. Uh, yes, and the Christmas tunes are amazing, as I say. Oh, my niece Amelia would love that. Oh no, it's broken. Let's pick another one. How cute is that? I've heard quite a lot of parents, a lot of kids in here, um, saying, oh, we can't have that. They're gonna break. We have children, or I guess if you've got a cat. But look at this color collection. Are you joking? Oh, fruit. We're trying to find the fruit, the, the, um, the, the food ones. 5.95. And then everyone's gonna moan. Oh my gosh, she doesn't shut up talking. I have to talk because there's copyrighted music on in the background. So apologies if it's a bit da -da 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 of me chatting. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's so many peacock kind of purpley sections. I love it. There's been about, uh, what, about five bays walking around. There's a lot in here, by the way. They've really, really packed it all in. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? With the little pearls on. And um, yeah, some little angel wings. Stunning. Oh, 4 95 Slightly more reasonable price point. Um, but as we go across, oh, something for the music lovers. Look at this. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, I don't really remember what they had last year thinking about it. I think maybe I should have watched last year's vlog before coming. Um, but yeah, again, another beautiful, oh, hidden Mickey, probably not, beautiful tree. Um, and then we have got some very crikey, this is very Liberty. Look at these, these little eyes. And again, this brand, um, is that Vondel Sparkles from Amsterdam? Um, absolutely gorgeous. And look at this view. 
stunning. It's so great to have like natural light in a store. I will say this is the first one I've seen, which is a big no-no. Oh, Liberty, that's absolutely disgusting. It's 17 pound, tacky, tacky. And that brand Vondals looks like they have got a load of stuff, which is Hello Kitty and Miffy, which is really sweet. So if you're a fan, and that's again, probably a really, really nice little gift actually, to come in a box, a uh, little Christmas ornament. I love Hello Kitty. And this section has always got the most random bits. And you know what, I was saying that that is uh, tacky, but you know what, I guess if you have all of these together, press for champagne, um, a little, I guess, PlayStation controller. There's quite <laughs> a selection of weird and wonderful uh, decorations. So if you want a little astronaut for 15 pounds, or ugh, like AirPods, I don't know. They can't sell many of those, surely. And things like this, I mean, they must have been from last year. They're, I'm not a fan of those, sorry. Um, but we have got some um, sports again. I think they had these last year. They're okay, not personally a fan, but let me know in the comments. I mean, maybe, what is that? A strimmer? Wait, is that a leaf blower? Oh, come on, Leaf King. And just as the crowd's clear for a second, I need to just show you by the entrance. Oh, I mean, I kind of thought maybe they'd be on sale. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Um, yeah, you've got quite a lot of little royal things. That's really sweet, like a, Thing above the fireplace that's really cute um yes and there's always quite a lot of stuff from emma bridgewater as well we'll keep an eye out if there's any cute little mugs but you can get uh charles and camilla uh they do those each year there's always have a couple of royal danglers i'm trying my best to show you everything guys um yeah we have gone then got everything london so yeah if you would like a little bit of a royal i really like the um post boxes actually they're really cute with the snow on there is a lot. Have I found any food ones, which is a bit weird? Um, they probably get, I guess, more stocks in, but yeah, I think last year, or maybe they didn't sell actually. Last year, I feel like they had like carrots and like random food items. Okay, so now just in the other side, I do have to show you the gorgeous lights that they've got. This will be so nice in the early evening. Look at this room, it is absolutely gorgeous. So they have a lot of little gifty knickknacks in here. So from some alcohol suggestions, they always have like really good gift food. And they, what they have got still is um, quite a lot of a display around their advent calendar. Um, fill your own advent calendar. The empty calendar is 40 pounds and then you fill it with bits. Bit more expensive than your, your dairy milk for a couple of quid, but hey, uh, each to their own. And then they also have a chocolate one for 30 pounds. Look at that. They, I think it's very much the same box that they've had yeah, for the last few years. Would like to see it updated at some point in the future. Um, but they also have got um, some different advent, cal um, advent calendars, Christmas crackers to choose from, and uh, lots of the iconic prints. Um, I wouldn't want to gift that, I'd want to keep it for myself. But yeah, just some little bits and bobs to add in I love little gift food ideas and the chocolate coin let me show you which I think I got last year I can't remember um, that's a really good prize um, prize or present and we'll look out for that in Harrow so for five pounds obviously it's a bit more expensive than your standard chocolate but I think that's a really good stocking filler by the way I think I can breathe for a second if you're coming I probably would say come as soon as the store opens or maybe like just before it closes um, I've obviously edited this in a certain way and it's taken me quite a long time to film which honestly is fine um, I love making these videos waiting for people to obviously not be in shops which is all good so it's quite an intense shopping experience so if that's not something that you would enjoy um, yeah I would say maybe buy online or come right at opening and when I'm filming this it's not really Christmas yet so <laughs> Good luck guys. Good luck shopping. I love all of the packaging. It's very kind of like old school, you know, like mulled wine drops with that stripy packaging. Oh yeah, guys, remember, I'm going to be going to Fortnum & Mason, so keep your eyes peeled. What do you prefer? Do you prefer Liberty? Do you prefer Fortnum & Mason? I love all the kind of old school jars. C&B looks like that brand, and they've got some little cola uh, hardboard jellies in them. <laughs> and in the fireplace, we have got some crackers. I must confess, guys, I tend to just buy my crackers from Tesco. Um, what, what does six luxury Christmas crackers get you these days? Mm, not a lot, my gosh, yeah. 50 pounds. They are beautiful, but what you get in them doesn't really matter, does it? Half the fun is just pulling the crackers. I'm interested to know 
how many of you have kind of traditional advent calendars which are obviously paper ones um, this is quite the selection actually I really like this one where it's um, I guess at Somerset House which uh, maybe I'll get to at some point in vlogmas um, how much are these oh my gosh I need to get glasses 11 pounds um, but yeah I think that's I really I actually I don't know it's kind of getting older oh they have an, a liberty one I don't know I quite like these I'm, I'm kind of gone off a bit of having luxury advent calendars for now who knows fast forward to Christmas 2023 um, and that one is 10 pounds yeah that's quite sweet I think the coloration on that isn't quite right but just my personal feedback and I do have to call out this table that they've got in this a very little bit but what a beautiful present um, yeah it looks like quite all of them are maybe 20 pounds so yeah if you have someone who would like a beautiful book for I mean even display pocket of romantic poetry oh I love anything with the gold down the side of the pages. I don't know if that's called anything in particular, but yes, would really recommend. Um, obviously, they've got some which will be a lot more money. That's heavy. Complete works of uh, William Shakespeare, thirty pounds. The years are going far too quickly, aren't they? But yeah, we will go down to the stationery section, so we might see some of this down here. But twenty twenty three diaries. Um, they've got a little bit of a um, selection. So if you prefer, I feel like everyone has a preference on what type of diary. But the gold oh, is beautiful, and yeah, they always come in these gorgeous boxes, and everyone's like. How how much are they? Are they all the cheapest diaries? They are leather. Um, not the cheapest, that one was £50. Uh, what one would I have? I quite like a big one, to be honest. Um, I actually am trying to use my Mac notes on my computer. Um, £85. So yeah, you kind of get the pricing um, for those, but if you want to splash out. But can we just acknowledge the packaging? I love packaging. Um, or gift wrapping, I should say, actually, not packaging. Look at these gift bags yes there's a lot from um, emma bridgewater you can see you've got some little gift tags oh, oh, oh my gosh five pounds for six i mean wow these are so pretty and look at these i i really like sticker labels i'm gonna be blunt i buy mine from primark because primark is amazing and they always have like cool disney ones um but yes these are stunning Ooh, so 19 pounds you do get 45 um but look do you see what i mean that kind of red and green holly traditional um i really really like the little illustrations on this that's really gorgeous isn't it and we will have a look downstairs but they always have oh my gosh how big is that those cards so a pack of eight cards for 11 pounds i always try to buy like london themed ones i don't know i'm like one of few people who are my friends who still live in london die cut place cards stop oh my gosh if i had a big dining room table if i had the wife had the money um i would totally buy all of this oh my gosh okay i'm gonna be here for a while eco-friendly uh gift tags right i'm gonna just have a browse i will see you guys in a bit oh i like that they've done this like a very liberty tree all the purple blacks and golds on that um i don't think i noticed this the other side um i tried to see everything that is Gorge, I absolutely love that. What is that? Maybe a 10 pound? Oh no, it's 20 pounds, maybe not. Um, yeah, these are beautiful. I think if you're a tourist, I don't know, I think it's a really nice thing to get, but they've got some real good treats in here. But as I head on down, look at this Liberty and Lego. Oh my gosh, it's massive. And as I head to the food section, just passing the, um, is this the male beauty? Yeah, the men's beauty advent calendar, which I quite like the box. That's nice, isn't it? So maybe some of you watching this have got this. It's a very premium one. Um, it's 235 pounds, there we go. But it's worth 803. So yes, it looks like they've still got quite a lot of stock left. So if you've seen it, come and grab it. And I will be doing other retail vlogs where I'm not just showing decorations or show you some of the gifty bits oh look at that from diptyque that's a bit brat bizarre isn't it i'm not sure if i'd want to, to burn my diptyque handle um candle for that length of time they're very expensive but the beauty hall here is really lovely and they've got so many cool brands lots of niche ones that you wouldn't find everywhere but yes i can sense that this vlog is already quite long so i've just been trying to break up um my yeah my retail vlogs because whenever i do a store they end up being like 40 minutes and honestly guys i rarely watch a vlog of anyone that's over 20 minutes so just trying to cut them down so i have more vlogs um but yeah a little bit shorter so they only have a little section in here we're not talking you know harrods or salvages size but they always have so many cute little kind of food gifty ideas again with the liberty crackers i love it and um yeah just little things 
is if I can not drop my cards under my arm. Look at that, like a little, what's that, like an egg cup with some chocolate sprouts. So um, yes, they always have some really cool things and this is here all year. I just wanted to see what they had, particularly for Christmas. Um, and they have got a lot of chocolate boxes and all the premium chocolates like Rococo chocolates, very nice. And they just have a lot, um, they've got like cute little branding, like the little red ribbons or cinnamon nuts, they sound nice. Oh, look at these celebration of polar bears. Yes, I love it. I really love polar bears. I'm hoping polar bears become like a massive trend again for Christmas. I feel like the animals just rotate every so often, don't they? Um, but yeah, lots of grab and go little chocolate. Oh, look, these white chocolate cranberries. I think everything's about 12 to 13 pounds. Uh, yeah, very nice. Now I must confess, I actually just really like things like Cadbury and Galaxy chocolate. They're just my personal favorites. I do love all these premium ones, all these in particular. I've been bought these before. The pink, uh, champagne truffles are very nice and they are 21 pounds oh my gosh no i know the person who bought those for me they shouldn't have spent that on me that is too much money um but yes very nice indeed the little sweet jars are still a thing i know you can get these in a lot of places uh what we've we got a little bonbon fruit mix there for six pounds i mean look if you like the packaging i think it's just um all these are vegan friendly actually um maybe they do cost more but we have got oh, for god's sake champagne bears i mean they don't look great they look a bit gross in the packaging it hasn't come up too well um but ask mommy and daddy gourmet confectionery and they are 12 pounds i mean when it's just getting out of hand isn't it but if you've got the money go for it i guess yeah i feel like these cracker festive cracker kind of gifting things are coming back again and you've got a little set for oh that's no fun i guess you're gonna split them up i wouldn't gift them all together but i do love this kind of old school um looking fudge kitchen handmade gourmet fudge freaking love fudge it's amazing isn't it and there's a natural chocolate penguin down here is there a picture of it oh no they should have put a picture on the box hmm now i am actually going to come back to shop um like i said i wanted to do these videos so i could like show you things maybe plan your visit or something like that um but yeah i'm just gonna pay for this i love these also if you're my friends watching this you're probably gonna get one of these <laughs> oh but that fresh air feels lovely honestly guys it's not really that cold you would have seen i literally had just my leather jacket on and a scarf and a t-shirt because it's really at the time of filming this uh yeah not um not that cold and i can't complain but anyway i hope that got you in the christmas spirit but yes i hope that has maybe sparked your interest to pop into london it's not bad guys I'm trying to fly the flag for london here and do a little shopping i did actually buy a couple of other things which i didn't show on camera because i know they're going to be presents and i know those people will be watching so yes i'm really pleased i grabbed them uh when i did but it was so busy are you joking Christmas is definitely starting very, very early this year. I don't know, maybe this is the first real Christmas without the dreaded C word. But anyway, we're not gonna go there and I'll get demonetized. But anyway, please do subscribe. Um, also, my YouTube stats, you get this like report every so often now and it was telling me I need to tell you guys to thumbs up this video, which I feel a bit stupid saying. Yes, yeah, so if you did enjoy it, I mean, if you didn't like it, dislike it, it's totally fine. Um, but if you did enjoy it, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe if you wanna see more. Um, yes, I'll be doing a couple of vlogs, hopefully every week i would have mentioned previously and i will see you next friday at 6 p.m i feel like i should say happy, happy merry christmas at the end of this merry christmas <laughs>